How's it going guys, my name is Flamers and welcome to a Dragon Age Inquisition guide and this time we are doing Dragon's Bane which is to slay 10 high dragons in single player mode. Now I'm going to go through every uh, dragon that is available and the best tactics to use. Uh, well, try to explain the best tactics to use. Um, so yeah, we'll start off with the lowest level. I'll number them so it's a bit easier for you. So uh, let's get started, shall we? Okay, so the first dragon we are after is the Ferelden Frostback. That is a level 12 dragon located in the Hinterlands. Uh, you don't have to do any prerequisite quests or anything like that. It's just north of the base where you initially start. Uh, so you can just go there straight away. It is a level 12. Um, so yeah, the easiest dragon uh, to start with. Now it is a fire dragon, which means it's immune to fire and uh, it is also weak to cold. Uh, so try to use cold skills, uh, probably use a, a frost mage or something like that. Um, it does fly and it is one of the only dragons that actually changes its landing zone uh, towards the end when it's nearly dead. Um, you do get adds every so often when it's at 50% health. Uh, so yeah, for the first dragon it's relatively simple. And there we go, it is down. Uh, remember to loot uh, whatever it's dropped. Should get some nice loot. So we've got a number of things, superior belt of focus is nice, grand enchanted staff, all good. So let's get on to the next one. Okay, next up we are at Crestwood and just down here where I set my waypoint is where the dragon is. But first you need to uh, complete the Stillwaters quest line, which is the main quest line in Crestwood. And you're meant to drain the lake and uh, close the rift in the lake and help help the town and stuff. Once you've done that the dragon will spawn and he'll spawn just on top of there um, and sort of be ready for a fight I guess. So yeah, uh, he is an electric dragon and you just need to watch out for he'll put like little circles around your party members and if you stay too close together uh, the electric will chain between the party members and co cause quite a lot of damage. So that's the only thing to watch out for with these electric dragons. Uh, apart from that, uh, relatively easy. He's only a level 13 uh, dragon, this one, and he's quite weak to spirits. Uh, I also found that he doesn't fly and he doesn't spawn any adds, so that's even better. So that's him down. We've got some nice loot. Yeah, got nice uh, some armor there. So number three, we are now in the southern part of Western Approach after the Abyssal High Dragon, which is a level fourteen fire dragon. Now you have to complete all the quests for Frederick the Researcher, which start off with tra Draconology, and that starts off a quest line, continue with like hunting patterns, how to lower dragon, Frederick's livelihood, sharper white claws and a manuscript of some authority. You're then given the quest the Abyssal High Dragon where you have to place five lures to actually pull the dragon uh, and then it's quite a simple uh, battle then to, to kill it. Uh, like I said before it's a level 14 fire dragon so it's weak to cold. It doesn't have any adds and it doesn't fly so this could be actually the simplest tro uh, dragon so far. Um, even though it's two levels higher than the lowest level. Oh, it does add a guard as well. Forgot to mention that, I've just seen it there. Yeah, it does add a full guard meter as well. So, uh, try to equip skills that uh, take down guard quite quickly. And that's the third dragon down. We're doing well. Let's uh, see what loot we get for this one. Sure, we get some nice, uh, nice uh, dagger and a, and a ring. Okay, so let's go on to the number four. Okay, we're now in the Exalted Plains, 
to get to this dragon you first need to complete this operation uh, it's just south of Fen's camp and it's, the operation is called gain access to Gillinane's Grove now you have to go to that place first where I just pointed on the map there um, to actually unlock the operation you have to put a flag down then go to your war room complete, complete the operation then you'll get access to the camp as well as this dragon now it is the Gamordan Stormrider and it is a level 15 dragon and it's another lightning uh, so yeah it's uh, immune to lightning and weak to spirit uh, it does. it's got no adds whatsoever it does occasionally fly the only thing that you need to look out for is uh, the electrocution of the water uh, it, it does electrocute the water so um, yeah try and stay out of it and it will also apply um, dots to your teammates so try and stay at a distance from your teammates when you, they have little circles around them otherwise it will chain damage so yeah that's the level 15 Gamoran Storm Rider let's drop some nice stuff okay dragon number five is located in the emerald graves and it's located right at the top here it's at the, right at the northern uh, part of the map there there's no prerequisite quest that you have to do or anything you can go straight to this dragon and uh, try and down it straight away now it is the first frost dragon you'll come across if you've been following uh, this guide so what you need to uh, watch out for is the fact that he will slow down the party so just watch out for those uh, frost frost balls is that what you call them uh, he does occasionally fly and it's also worth noting he will ap apply a full guard meter at times as well there aren't any ads around like that um, so yeah try to use a lot of fire try use a fire mage and stuff uh, and it'll be relatively easy easy this is a level 17 uh, dragon so we're slowly moving up the the level the levels here so I think this one's down no he's sort of weak is is on his knees he's almost down and there we go so yeah that is the greater mistral it's a nice nice love looking dragon let's see what is quickly looted where's the loot then gone oh, it's there now we've got an, another armor that's cool right let's move on to number six and that is located in the Storm Coast and we are after the Vincemer, which is a level 19 dragon. Uh, now first you have to complete the Red Water quest line, which is to take the Darwin's Mouth Keep. Uh, once you've taken the keep, uh, right at the end here there will be a boat that you can get on and it will take you on over to Dragon Island where you can find the, the Vincemer. Uh, now this is a level 19 dragon and it is a lightning dragon and to be fair it's probably one of the hardest um, not sure why that is I think it's got a lot to do with the fact uh, it does like electric rings around the party members and dots like that uh, if you do get rings around all your party members try and stay clear because if you get together or, or, or too close the, the damage chains together and he take a lot more damage um, there aren't any ads and he doesn't fly but with that because he doesn't fly you don't really get a break in all fairness um, and he does apply guard quite often and that's what I mean by those rings there when you get that try and stay away from your party members so yeah uh, he does apply his guard and that's that's it that's it for Vincent Mir. he's dropped some nice loot okay the seventh dragon uh, can be found in the Hissing Wastes and it is a level 20 dragon called the Sandy Howler and it's located just up there, uh, sort of east of that camp there. Uh, there's no prerequisite quests that you have to complete for this dragon so you can just go there straight away as soon as you unlock uh, the Hissing Wastes area. Uh, okay so you just need to make sure you go through that doorway to actually get to it and then you'll end up in uh, what's it called the, the, yeah the tomb of Ferel so when you get in there just go straight to the center and you'll find this little dragon just sort of sleeping quite nicely 
and uh, I just thought I'd just go wake him up. So it is a fire dragon, which means it's immune to all fire, but weak to cold. So try and uh, bring a frost mage with you. Um, he screams quite often, and he doesn't half make a racket. And when he screams, he stuns the whole party. Um, he doesn't fly, but he does apply uh, a full guard meter quite frequently. So you have to get that guard meter down. And at around 25% HP, every time he screams, he'll summon adds. And he'll summon quite a lot of adds as well, so just be aware of that. So that is uh, dragon number seven, the Sandy Howler. It's got some nice gear. Okay. Dragon number eight is found in the Empress du Leon. And it is the level 19 Hivenal. And to access it, you first need to complete the operation uh, Restore Judicale's Crossing. Now, first go to that bridge, put down the banner to actually open the operation, and then uh, complete it in the war room, and then you'll be able to get to the next area. So, the first dragon is just on top of this tower where I put that marker, and it is the level 19 Hivenal. Now, we have gone back a level. I know but this is the first of three dragons in this in this area there is three altogether here so this one is a frost dragon which means it's weak to fire again so use a, a fire mage and fire skills uh, because it's a frost dragon it will slow down your characters uh, there aren't any adds but uh, he will fly quite often and he's actually got a, a variation of uh, different aerial attacks. So that's uh, Hivenol done. Let's quickly see what we get. Hey, not bad. Uh, let's move on to the next one which is just a little bit further north. So once again we are in the Empress du Leon map uh, for the second of uh, the dragons which is ha uh, Kaltenzan, a level 21 dragon. It's just north of where we were before, on northeast, and the next tower. So you just need to go up there, and you'll find him. And here he is. He's quite a cool-looking dragon, uh, a level 21 frost dragon. So again, he's weak to fire, and he also slows down your party. He often flies, and he'll also, <coughs> towards the end, when he's nearly dead, It'll sort of perch on top of uh, one of the tower's um, thing, things there. I don't know what to call it. Like that. Yeah, I did capture it. And there he is perched on there. Uh, yeah, he'll he'll often a apply a full guard meter. So you need some way to get that guard meter down. Uh, try to pick some, some skills to do that. Uh, and he's also a screamer. So he'll stun the entire party uh, when he screams. Uh, and each time he screams, I think it's around 25%, each time he screams, there'll be some ads that will come and help him. Apart from that, relatively simple, despite his level. Don't let that throw you off. Uh, I did this at, I think, level 20 or something like that. So, yeah, it's not too difficult. And there he is. Uh, he's, he's down. Poor thing. And he's dropped a really nice sword there. Uh, Cassandra was eyeing that sword up for a while. Okay, so let's go on to the last, last dragon. So once again, we are in the Empress du Leon for the final one. Um, so yeah, you complete the Judicale's crossing, blah, blah. You should know all that. And you want to head up to, right to the northern part. So it's even further north from where we just killed, um, what's his name? the other dragon, the nice looking dragon and this one is a bit of a beast he is level 23 and he's called the Highland Ravager, Ravager. Ra Ra I can't even say that, Ravager Highland Ravager, there we go uh, so yeah, level 23, really difficult um, I took quite a long time, he's got a massive amount of HP and as well as that he applies guard quite frequently so not only does he have all that all that HP he also gets a bonus to his uh, his uh, defense so yeah he's a fire dragon so he's weak to cold he does all the usual fire attacks except there is one new one 
and it looks similar to the lightning where you get the lightning circles around all of your teammates and you have to stay just like you can see here you have to stay a distance but it does like a sort of like a flame field um, so yeah what you need to do is just keep away from your party members and the damage is reduced because uh, it sort of stacks on top of each other uh, apart from that he doesn't fly but he does summon adds at around 25% HP uh, each time he screams and he stuns the party yeah I know another screamer you just uh, just can't help him uh, so yeah just you just got to keep baiting him down really he has got quite a lot of HP and there he is finally down took me a while um, I just that was my tenth dragon but I did not get the uh, trophy slash achievement there is a bug if you do happen to come across that bug um, a lot of people say by loading up an old save and doing one of the first dragons or just any dragon you know just repeat it it's popped when they've just killed one so try doing that uh, if not I'm, I'm gonna try and do it in nightmare when I do nightmare difficulty so that's it from me for now I hope this helped out guys as always uh, please leave a like if it did help you out and uh, I'll see you again soon so happy dragon slaying guys bye bye